welcome to another wild adventure with the wild game. This video is going to be a fossil hunting video near the Peace River and the creeks around it. We're going to try to find some megalodon teeth, but we're probably just going to find some little shark's teeth. We're on our way to the first fossil spot. Got the kayak there. Ooh, what's this, Gator? Huge fossilized pieces of bone. Dug in. Oh, and finding some teeth, finally. We just pulled up to the first spot and all I did was looked at the map and found a little, what looked like a parking area next to a bridge. And uh, so far it looks like I was right. All right, we got our fossil hunting supplies. Nice. So there's gravel everywhere in this creek and there might be shark teeth everywhere. So I have the urge to explore a little bit. Got my kayak in tow. I was just looking at a spot right here where it's kind of washed out. And uh, first thing I find is a fossilized piece of bone, a couple smaller chunks, something right here dug in. That's a fossilized bone. So this looks like a kind of promising spot to uh, sift some dirt and see what we can find. I just took a little sample scoop with my uh, Venice Beach shark tooth sifter and the very first sift, I don't, can you see it? Right there. First sift, we got a tooth. That's awesome. I wanna show you guys the process of this. I got my big sifter out and I'm just digging into the, the sand here because I've identified some nice gravel right here. And then we're gonna sift it out and look through it and see if we have any teeth. All right, here you go. Right there, do some deeper water. We're left with the gravel bits. And uh, this is where we're looking for the teeth. Not seeing any standing out right away. Oh, there's one, a little baby one. That was a sad sift. One baby shark's tooth. Got to keep going. So we've done a, quite a bit of digging here and I, ha I haven't showed you guys anything because I haven't really found much. I'm finding some shark's teeth, but they're like this size, little tiny babies. So I'm gonna move to another area and try another spot. So I got to this spot that's kind of dammed up and deep and can't just walk it easily. There's a log going across. I was like, ah, maybe I don't want to go over there. But then I thought that's probably what everybody else is thinking. So let's go across and see what's over there. Oh, kind of worked. Kind of stuck in the middle. We made it across and I was using the shovel to get unstuck and listen, that's gravel. And where there's gravel, there's shark's teeth. So a little bit deeper here, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can, ooh, what's this, gator? No, we're gonna get some of this up onto our sifter and see what it looks like. I'll tie the boat up over there to those roots. All right, let's check it out. You guys will have to tell me if you saw any down there because I can't see in there. Try right here. Well, I was doing a lot better at my other spot. Oh, there's one. All right, so I've been taking some scoops with that over there under that log and uh, finding a few teeth. 
So I'm gonna um, try to get the big sifter over there somewhere where I can put some material on it and get down a little deeper. And my goal is to find a megalodon tooth, a meg. I've never found one. I found thousands and thousands of shark's teeth, but never a meg, even just a little one. Nothing. Well, we found some teeth here. All right, new spot. This spot's definitely, I don't know, I think someone's probably digging into the bank, but check this out. These are very large, very large uh, bones, probably dugong ribs. I mean, just huge fossilized pieces of bone right here on the bank which is kind of cool. But I think that's somebody's find in there, throwing them up here. So, I just wiggled my hands in here and I like to go under rocks, places maybe that haven't been dug yet. And I was just cleaning some material with my hands. And I found two big tops. So, I'm gonna try to get in here and get some material and sift it. Digging where this bank meets the water right here getting some decent material and finding some teeth finally nothing huge but definitely some teeth so I just got some material in here and uh, we're gonna look in this next one together and yeah I've resorted to just sitting in the creek <laughs> I was kind of trying to stay dry but my back's hurting so bad Ugh. Some fresh. I like to sink it down and encourage all the little grasses and leaves to move along. All right. There's gotta be at least one in here. Well, I don't know if I'd call that one, but it's a little piece of one. Oh, all right. Not only did we get one, we got a pretty one. A little white, you like that? So I just had this idea. Heather likes to find shark's teeth too. I got a, my sister loaded up with some stuff from the bank. And then I'm gonna get a Ziploc bag and just fill it with gravel and not even look at it. So she'll have some stuff to look through when she gets home. Hopefully there's some teeth in there. Don't I have a really fun present for you. Here, hold this. I brought you this. Thank you. That's a pretty one, huh? Mm -hmm. The hose is walking it. Wow. They're definitely in that Wow. Ow! What? What? What happened? Mm -hmm. Washed one out? The bottom? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Hold on. Find it. One gallon of gravel. This is just from the river bottom, it's not. Doesn't have to be. Yeah. Yeah. 
start with that. Ooh. Heather just finished examining every single piece of gravel in that bag. And I think you're gonna be surprised by how many teeth she actually found with my last minute gravel grab. First, let me show you what I ended up with. This was after about three hours. And here's what Heather ended up with. Um, she did really good. I appreciate you guys coming along with me. We'll uh, do it again soon. Thanks for watching.